morning and happy Monday, everyone. How are you? I have a really fun card for you today. Another Halloween card, yes, using my absolute favorite stamp set. But we are going to get messy with our ink pad today. I love it. All right, so um, before we get started, though, for those of you who do not know me, oh, I forgot my comments. Hold on. Comments. Where are my comments? For those of you who do not know me, my name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning here on my Facebook page to bring you a new card tutorial. All right, now I'm stuck on Halloween cards right now. I don't know. It's August. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Kim. Yes, Halloween cards in August. Well, I figured you got to get them made so you can send them out on time, right? Okay, so we're going to get messy with an ink pad today. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to ink up our embossing folder, okay, on the spider web. Actually, it's called the cobwebs uh, embossing folder in the catalog, but anyways. All right, um, I want to, I've got a couple things I've got to do here first I forgot to do. Okay, I'm clicking all of my switcher things. There we go. That's like that. And then, voila. <laughs> all right, we are live here on Creating with Christina. Notice my August host code up here. So if you order from me $50 or more, please put this host code in so I can send you a free gift, okay? And um, also, if you don't have a catalog uh, and you don't have a demonstrator, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, let me know. I'll get one out to you. And uh, the only thing I ask, of course, is that you order from me. All right, let's make a card. The first thing we're going, and we're like I said, we're using my favorite stamp set. Have a hoot. Love this little guy. So we're going to use all three of our owls, our pumpkin owl our spider owl, and our vampire owl. <laughs> okay, and we're having, <clears throat> excuse me, we have a white card base, then we have a piece of white card stock that measures three by five and a half, and this is the one that we are running through our embossing folder. And good morning, Jean, Danelle, how are you, Dorothy? Good to see all of y'all this morning. All right, so that's the one we're gonna run through the embossing folder. We have a little scrap for our sentiment. And this plaid comes from this paper pack, which I encourage you, if you think this is a cool uh, paper pack to get it, it's getting down on low inventory. So you don't wanna have to get back ordered. All right, and there's Christmas right there is all the like fall colors, but so that's green and red. There's some red some green so those are Christmassy then we also have some fall ones and flip them over and we have all, all kinds of beautiful plaid paper it's called plaid tidings it's really pretty and we're using a piece of it here and we're gonna put that over on the edge we're going to emboss this with our cobwebs we're gonna put that right there but we're also going to take some pumpkin pie we're gonna do a tear and we'll put that there and that there. All right, so it's gonna be lots of fun. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do though before we emboss is I want my owls to be back behind my spider webs. So I'm taking this um, layered square here. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my voice. And this is the one that measures one and five eighths. So one and five eighths. Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, we have a die cut layering squares and there's scalloped and then straight edge and I'm using a straight edge so first things first we need to um, I need to use some grid paper so that I get this fairly centered so let me pull off a piece of grid paper here and I'm gonna put that on there okay and our paper is at five and a half so I'm gonna pull it up so it's a quarter inch on both sides of the five inches and I know two and a half is halfway on five so we are going to put that right there and then I need a piece of washi tape to hold that down so it doesn't move on me because I definitely don't want it to move on me alright yeah looks good right there 
Okay, I'm going to run this through three times because I want three different squares coming out. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Nancy. So great to see everyone this morning. I love it. Okay. Oh, and if y'all hear all kinds of noise outside my window, I'm getting a new sidewalk. <laughs> I'm so excited. Our uh, city, the city of Louisville, is coming around and fixing all of our sidewalks because they are all cracked up and trip hazards. And uh, Okay, I want to do this very gently. There we go. Um, trip hazards and the drain, it's not draining well. All right, let me put this back where it was so I have my measurements. Okay, and then... We're going to just center that the best we can right there. Yeah. There we go. And run this through again. But I'm excited because, um, you know, it's fun to get new stuff and not have to pay for it. Well, I mean, I guess I pay for it with my city taxes, but <laughs> it didn't have to come out of my bank account. All right, and then we're going to do one more down here. Okay, and so our little owls, oh, toward a little bit. Be really careful when you're pulling up. Even though it's washi tape and it's really low stick, it sometimes it just gets the gets the paper just right and tears it a little bit. Okay. And there we go. All right, last time. So, one more time, we are going to have our little owls peeking out from behind this. So what I need to do now is make sure that I stamp my owls in the correct place so that they do uh, peek out behind these holes. So the way I'm going to do that is, let me get all this out of the way, I'm going to take my card base where I'm going to be stamping my owls, and I'm going to very lightly, with a pencil. Okay, I had my pencil. Oh, my pencil, where are you? Oh, good grief. Okay. You know, I really was prepared this morning. <laughs> my pencil disappeared. It is probably right in front of me. It's a purple big pencil. Really? Really? Okay, I guess not. It has seriously disappeared. I'll get it. Oh, it was behind me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, here we go. These, um, Bic pencils, they, this white eraser really erases this lead very nicely. Okay, so let me move all this over. Everybody over. I need my card base. Here's my card base. Okay. And then it's going to be lined up right there on the edge. Okay. And like I said, very lightly, hardly even touching the paper. And I'm just doing the corners so I know where my owls need to be stamped. Okay, there we go. Our owls are going right there. Hello, little owls. Y'all are so cute. <clears throat> and we're doing these in black mementos ink so that um, I can color with my alcohol blends that over and we will start with I'm trying to decide which one should go where all right here's my cute pumpkin he's so adorable then of course I have my owl with the spider and where's my other one my vampire my vampire owl all right they are just gonna fit in that whoops turn them over they are just gonna fit in there so I have those two are kind of large. I like pumpkins in the middle. Okay, there we go. All right, come on. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? Mm. I mean, even though I marked it, it's still going to be kind of difficult because I cannot see through the red rubber. So I'm just going to do the best I can. Hopefully... You know what? I take that back. We're going to use the stamp apparatus. This is another reason why a stamp positioning tool is so helpful because you can get exact placement without guessing. Okay. All right. Let's get this guy out. And you guys get over here. 
Here we go. Where's my card? Here's my card. Um, yeah, I don't like my card being down in the corner. Well, you can't even see it. Um, let's pull this up like this. There we go. All right. Where are my pencil marks? Yeah. See, I don't like having my card way up here in the corner because I need to get a stamp there and these uh, hinges can get in the way so I like to pull my card down and we have magnets that will hold these but I found that washi tape works just as well actually it works a little better you just have to be extra careful taking the tape off when you're done okay there we go now like I said we're going to do the little owl first and he's lined up on that line and on that line so I can kind of guess that okay he needs to be about a little bit over okay yeah oh what am I doing okay close the lid there we go <laughs> all right so do you all have a stamp positioning tool? I know there's lots of them out on the market. I love mine. It is, like I said, for this kind of a project, this, it really is wonderful. Okay. And we did perfect. Now, even though it's kind of outside the edge and everything, that's okay. We're going to be covering that up with the spider web paper in just a minute. All right, where's my cleaning pad? And we'll switch stamps. There we go. And the next one, we'll do our vampire down here. Okay, and we don't want his little ears hiding. And we want, I'd like to get a little bit of that moon, but his little, I also want his feet. So I think the moon might have to be sacrificed. That's all right. Okay. Love it. That is, oh, so you'll get to see a little bit of the moon there in the corner. That's great. And my cleaning pad. All right, so I want you all to come back. Um, of course, Wednesday I have another card for you. I'm going to be working on the uh, principles of design. But Friday, I am going to make a Halloween treat uh, bag or box or something. Um, but I, I want to do like a something you can put candy in or uh, some other kind of... Halloween treat on Friday for my fun fold Friday so that'll be fun so don't be sure not to miss Friday mm -hmm. alrighty hey so those of you who are in Texas um, actually anywhere in the country I just didn't look anywhere else but we had quite a thunderstorm last night. Debbie, up in Oklahoma, uh, you're right up next to the Oklahoma border. I bet you got it bad. Um, yeah, we um, we had a pretty big rain shower. Everything got blown in the swimming pool last night. So this morning, you know, lawn chairs and any pool toys were blown to the other side of the yard and <laughs> all that fun stuff. Okay, we have our little pumpkins. But boy, did we need the rain. Oh my gosh, we were really drying out down here. Um, Texas isn't known for having much rain this time of year, but we at least get a little bit to keep our yard halfway decent and our foundation from uh, cracking. All right, this is where it's tricky. When you're pulling washi tape up, you really want to pull away from the cards, so you need to kind of like, but if it's starts to tear like it's tearing there on me okay there we go you want to pull away from the card if you pull up into the card you can pull the layers and tear the card it's just a little something to remember when you're messing with washi tape or any kind of low any tape uh, low stick tape regular tape but um, you want to pull away not towards okay all right we have our cute little owls and of course we need to color them. Aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh, I love them. So, 
Um, we just quickly color them here. Uh, we're going to color our owls with the crumb cake. That is my go-to for owls. And so uh, make sure this is crumb cake and not gray. Yeah, it's crumb cake. All right, so I'm just quickly going in here, coloring the little owls. I'm going to do all three at the same time. Um, that's a when you're coloring and you have and you you can go through with one color and color everything that you need in that one color. Go ahead and do it all at once. You wouldn't think putting the lid on and opening another lid would be that much time, but when you do it over and over and over again, it does take time. And so, um, yeah, so then I'm just going to move down to this owl. I'm just saving a little time. Okay. And finally, this one. I like this little vampire one. He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> All right, be careful, because his cape is back behind that wing. That's not his wing, that's his cape. Okay. There we go. All right, now go in with the dark crumb cake and hit some shadows. Just a couple. You don't need very much. And behind the ears, behind the wings, down on the bottom where he's sitting. Okay, this, the pumpkin is going to cause some shadows. So there. And then he's got, like, the folds in his wings. So the body, where the body uh, is in front of the wing there, and where the cape is in front of the head. And the cute little ears. All right, so there's our shadows. Now we just come back real quick and kind of blend the edges where the two, where the dark and the light meet. Just rub it with the light pen. And it just blends it. It's so cool. Love alcohol markers. They're so fun. Wash. Debbie said yes. 80 mile an hour winds. Hail. Oh, we did not get any hail. We got a lot of rain and a lot of wind. <laughs> yeah, I bet you only will. Hope, I hope your hail didn't damage anything. I know you've got a lot of stuff out there. All right. Um, this tree branch, I'm taking the dark soft suede and I'm just going to kind of touch the branch where it would be kind of darker. And then I'll come back in with the lighter and blend. Okay, so there really wasn't much there. Oh, and there's this branch down here. Okay, like I said, try to do as much of all the same that you can. Okay. All right, and there's really no brown on the pumpkin. All right, now come back with the light soft suede and finish coloring these branches and just kind of gently go up it they are really tiny the bullet uh, tip here is just narrow enough to get in there and then kind of rub it where you have the dark so it blends <laughs> now some of this branch won't show because we're going to cover it up with the spider web paper but um, just I mean you can kind of see under it we're going to pop up the spider web paper with dimensional so you'll be able to see under it a little bit so I just go ahead and just color the whole thing no biggie doesn't take very long at all oh the guys they dug up oh I was just noticed that I'm not hearing the construction workers outside and they've basically taken our sidewalk away 
we have a huge ditch running along the front of our of our house right now. They've taken all the concrete sidewalk away. So that's going to be fun. Maybe David and I can get out there and write our names in it. That'll be the new concrete. That'll be fun. I've never gotten to do that before. <laughs> okay. Um, my little owl. This is just pumpkin pie. I'm just going to touch the beaks and the feet. Well, on this one, I'm going to be coloring that whole uh, pumpkin. So let me just finish with the feet there. All right. On the pumpkin, we're going to start with the light. And just like we did the owls, we color the whole thing light, then we come in with the shadows, then we blend. And you're going, well, I don't know where to put shadows. Just think about it. Just think wherever um, there's a, a layer, where like the pumpkin is in front of the owl. So that means that the pumpkin is going to cause a shadow on the owl. Okay. Um, as far as a pumpkin goes, the uh, grooves, these grooves in the pumpkin, um, they're kind of indented, so they are going to be a little darker, but not much. Um, the top and the bottom of the pumpkin, or back behind the stem, that might be a little darker. Um, there's not too much shadowing to a pumpkin. Like I said, the bottom for sure, um, back behind the stem, maybe on the edge. All right. So we're going to do the bottom, and I'm just going to come up the side like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to come up each of these um, grooves. I'm just kind of drawing on top of them. I'm not really doing much. Okay, but back behind the stem for sure. Okay, there. So like I said, there's not much to shading a pumpkin. And then we just come in with the light and we blend it all. Yay! All done. Okay. That's it for the orange, uh, I call them orange pumpkin pie. Now, um, our pumpkin vine, pumpkin stem, it's going to be green. I don't see any more green, so we put that down. Woo! Come back. Oh, I just dropped my blend on the floor. Our spider, I'm coloring him dark granite gray instead of black. Um, and I was thinking about doing the cape in purple, and then I'm thinking, well, no, vampires' capes are red, but that's too pinky of a red. It's not like, I mean, a, a red cape on a vampire is more of a burgundy, so, yeah, I'm going to stay with the purple, I think. And once again, we just start with the light. I love about blends is that you don't see the you know when you go back and forth like this you don't see the lines where on a regular water-based marker you see where you go back and forth every time you go over it it gets darker and darker alcohol um, like I said it blends it kind of bleeds out so everything blends together kind of blurs together it's really cool all right so that we did the light now let's come in with our dark shadows and on the front of the cape, it's just going to be where the folds are, okay, right there. That's all you're going to get for the, the front. But back here, behind that wing, and just behind the wing, like at the bottom of the cape, it's still light, but behind the wing, it's dark. So there's a, there's a transition there in, in shadow. And we just come over with the light. Okay, and we let that dry, and it looks really awesome. We are missing one color. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> the yellow, or in this case, Mango Melody. All right, and Mango Melody or Pumpkin. Well, that's Pumpkin Pie. That's Mango Melody. Um, 
where's my dark and which one's my light. Sometimes they're hard to tell, but they're written here on the side. <laughs> Dorothy says, you are overthinking this. <laughs> That's right, Dorothy. I sure am. Yay for me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we got our out. We got our, our moonlight there. And then we need the insides of the pumpkin eyes. Nose. Okay, now we are done. And I just take the dark mango melody where the cutout is. I don't know. Like you said, Dorothy, I'm overthinking this. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I'm going to put all these markers away. And now let's do the fun stuff. All right. So we have our cobweb folder here. Okay. Let me pull it up so you all can see it in that cool. Oh, my gosh. I love this new embossing folder. And this is in the holiday catalog. And now what we do, I'm going to move this card out of the way. And I need my white piece. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> move my stamp set, move that. Ah, there it is. Woo, I thought I lost it there for a minute. Okay. Um, what we're going to do, where's my black ink? There it is. And I had a piece of scratch paper. Yeah, here it is. All right, because I don't want to get my work surface too dirty. Okay, um, here we go. This um, trademark piece there, that's the top of the folder. Okay, so this is the side we want to ink. So we're turning it over and we're just going to ink this side here. And it's really easy. You just take an ink pad. Like I said, let's get messy with ink this morning. And we're just going to rub that all over there. Isn't that cool? And I kind of do it in a circular motion so you don't see any lines. Okay, and now we're going to put our paper on there, and we're going to close it up and run it through the embossing machine. Ugh, come here. All right, you ready for the magic? You ready? I'm so excited to show you guys this. Here we go. Dun da da dun. And of course, it sticks. Like I said, getting messy. <laughs> awesome, huh? That is so fun. Okay, then you kind of need to clean this off before you do anything else, or you will have a mess everywhere. So, grab. Okay. All right, that's that. Mess, get my hands all cleaned up again. My magic sponge. Okay. Don't you love that? <laughs> okay. Now, um, where's my card? Okay, let's do this here. Um, we're going to... Um, we can go ahead and put this plaid right there. So where's my tape runner? There it is. Oh, that red part's kind of cool too. Like I said, plaid tidying paper is so awesome. And if you really like it, get it now because it is getting low on inventory and you do not want to miss out on it if you want it. Okay. All right, there we go. And okay. I want to put a rough edge, I want to tear it, and so I cut this at an inch, so I had plenty of room for my fingers, and I'm just going to, I'm pulling this up, and it's creating, hold on, let me pull this so y'all can see it, there you go, so you can see that tear in there, okay, and I just kind of keep it at a, a finger's width going down so it stays fairly even. Okay, 
And now we are going to put that on the edge of our spider web like that. So let me get my tape runner. Come on. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I don't want too much showing, but I don't want too little either. Just enough. There we go. And now this is going to go right here. How cool is that? Except we need to erase those marks there. So, like I said, um, use these big mechanical pencils. They are amazing. Oh, I have had problems in the past trying to erase pencil mark before and have really made a mess. But this, I am not kidding, just works beautifully. No more pencil marks. <laughs> now I need dimensionals. And let's see if we've got enough room there. Oh no, this is going to be a little skinny here. I'm going to have to use mini dimensionals there. I'll use these thick ones over here. Okay. And grab my minis. Where are my tweezers? These, these can be kind of tricky to, they're so little. Oops, I already made a mess. Come on, quit it. Now we put that one in the middle, in the edge there. Okay, that one right there. Right there. There. Okay, and let's get some here on the other side. There. 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 Boy, this is going to be stuck. <laughs> and there. All right, now we got to take all the things off. Oh, great, Debbie. Awesome. Yes. You're doing some awesome work. You girl, you and Tanya are doing some awesome workshops. I love it. I know my ladies would love for me to start doing workshops again, but I'm just, I'm just too afraid. You live out in the beautiful country. Seems safer out in the country than here in the city. <laughs> uh, these are kind of tricky to get off. I should use my little trick with the piercing tool. Oh, sorry, that one. Okay, so this one. And last but not least. Okay, you ready for the finale? Here we go. Oh no, I forgot. I still have to do a sentiment. Yeah. All right. Okay, I want that to land right there on the edge. Come on. There we go. How fun is that? Let me show you the angle here so you can kind of see that you can see, like, well, it's kind of hard to tell in the video. There you go. You can kind of see it there. <laughs> but that dimension is so fun. All right, our sentiment. One last thing. And have a hoot on Halloween, my go-to one, there's Boo and Have a Hoot on Halloween with the stamp set. And of course, if you have other Halloween stamp sentiments, those would be fun to use too. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> and Friday, I showed you how I cut up my wording instead of leaving it all in one big piece like that. So I'm going to do that again. Snips. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to go right down the middle here. Oops, it's stuck on there. Try again. There we go. 
Okay, have a hoot on Halloween. Actually, you know what, have, I think I might cut it up a little bit more. Ooh, I'm getting all daring here. Have a hoot on, there we go, have a hoot on Halloween. Oh, these definitely are going to have to be, well, do they need to be popped up? Hmm, do you think they, do they, no, they stick out pretty good. I think you can read that pretty good. What do you think? Have a hoot on Halloween. Whoops, turn around. Hmm. All right, you're right, Dorothy. I'm thinking it too, too much. Let's just stick it on there. <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, and I'm going to use glue. It's so little. I tried using the tape runner the other day, but it's still got adhesive everywhere that I didn't want it. Come on. Okay. Pull this back into the picture. Make sure I'm sticking it on there correctly. Oh. Well, I hope you're enjoying the Halloween cards. Like I said, on Friday, I'm going to do a Halloween treat. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to continue with my design elements. The elements, uh, actually, it's the uh, principles of design that you use with the different elements. Um, the elements, of course, are the shapes and the spacing and the color and all of that. That's the elements. The principles are... Um, balance, unity, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Okay, she's finished. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I love this page. I mean, this uh, stamp set. Yeah, that is fun. Thank y'all so much for watching. I know it was a little long. It takes a while to color owls, but um, I think you really enjoy it. And so I'm going to continue <laughs> coloring owls. Um, I do need to probably make some different Halloween cards. I'm so stuck on this stamp set, though. I can't stop using it. I love it. Okay, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you Wednesday morning, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>